what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? China has unexpectedly injected itself into the beef between the U.S. and Russia. As you know, over the weekend, the United States attacked Syria at the protest of Russia. Russia said, "Hi, right, we'll be back. You know, y'all want to do us like that? We'll be back. So now it appears that Russia has additional backup. In his first visit to Russia, newly appointed Chinese Defense Minister Wei Feng attended the 7th Moscow International Security Conference, accompanied by a delegation of other high-level military officials, emphasizing that his trip was coordinated directly with Chinese President Xi Jinping. Wei said that he had two major messages for Russia at a time when both nations were attempting to modernize their armed forces and strengthen their hands in global affairs in spite of U.S. fears and threats. I am visiting Russia as a new defense minister of China to show the world a high level of development of our bilateral relations and firm determination of our armed forces to strengthen strategic cooperation. Second, to support the Russian side in organizing the Moscow International Security Conference, the Chinese side has come to show the Americans the close ties between the armed forces of China and Russia especially in this situation. We've come to support you, he added. The Chinese side is ready to express with the Russian side our common concerns and common position on important international problems at international venues as well. Russia's Vladimir Putin and his Chinese counterpart command the second and third most powerful armed forces in the world. Some people say that China might be number one. That remains to be seen. In any event, if it's going down, let's get it over with. Because I'm going to tell you something. These Twitter games that Adolf Twiddler play with millions of people's lives at stake, Man, this ain't no game. And all these people, I hear a lot of people talking about, man, we, 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 we'll do this to China. We'll do this to Russia. We'll do this. These are the people that ain't going to bust a damn grape in a fruit fight. They ain't going to do nothing. But they quick to talk about, let's go to war. Ain't going to push a duck in the pond. If they did, they jump in and save it. China and Russia is trying to save the world from U.S. aggression and further colonization. Yeah, I said it. That's all they're doing, holding their ground. Why is it that America can have nukes and other type of weapons, can just do what they want to do, and other countries can't? Why is it that America can just kill its citizens? Why is it that the police in America can just gun down innocent people, kick in doors late at night or any time of the day, and just gun people down and say, I fear for my life and walk? Why is it that they can do it and get away with it? But when another leader, a foreign leader, is accused of doing something, and I say accused because a lot of it, is propaganda. But when a foreign leader is accused of killing his own citizens, he's the devil. He's evil personified. The world has no place for such a person. But American leadership sat back for centuries and just watched people get slaughtered and have not done anything still to this day haven't made one positive step in the right direction to stop these police killings. Ain't did shit. All these body cams and all this stuff, it don't even matter that they have body cams. 
they're still walking. Hell, they turning the body cams off and turning them back on. Like, man, they just acting like rogues. They're like, man, damn the body cams. Damn what they saying. You know why they do that? Because they got a pass from their chief. They have passes from their superiors. They say, hey, man, dude, you want, I got you. I got this cover, man. Just, you know, take them out. Kill them. Y'all saw the video when the, the cop was chasing the guy. I think the guy had like an expired license or something like it was it was something stupid man something very trivial and the guy was taking off he was on a high speed chase and because the chief was pissed off that the dude was running the chief told the guy the cop that was in pursuit of him take him out kill him take him out and then after he killed the man, he said, I love this shit. The chief said, I love this shit, man. I got you. Don't worry about it. I got you. You know, you did what you had to. You okay? You know what I'm saying? All right. Well, just go home to your family. I got you. Take care of it, man. That's the country we live in. But they're trying to act like they really care about the Syrians getting gas. Get the hell out of here, man. It's all fake. U.S. and how in the hell can the U.S. win a war anyway? If, if it was something really, really to go down like something major, 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 the U.S. can't win. The U.S. is too divided. It ain't going to be like next, last time because everybody knows that the U.S. ain't going to stick to their words. So the U.S. can't win. It's too divided among its own citizens. It's too divided cannot win no way possible countries uh shouldn't continue to meddle in other countries business i hear a lot of people saying stuff like that shouldn't continue to meddle in other people's business but that's all the u.s does all the u.s does is meddle in everybody's business hey, so i heard somebody saying but china ain't got no business this is between russia this is between Syria, this is between Russia and the United States and, and France and the UK and China ain't got no business in it. Yeah, they got business. Yeah, China got a whole lot of business. They got a whole lot. They trade with those other countries too. Plus, man, if you let the United States just roll over people, man, guess who next? That's the way bullying works. It's... It's human behavior one-on-one. -on -one. What they do to the least of us, they do to the rest of us. You let somebody get away with treating some this person here bad or doing this person dirty, next thing you know, they're coming for you and yours. That's how it go. I can hear Donald Trump right now. But Putin, I thought we were friends. Putin probably did. Shut up, sucker. Get back in that box, you puppet. I think it's time to start learning Chinese. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.